Hello, and welcome back. I'm your host, Steve Lick. This is episode four of the Potato Cast. It is a sad day in potato. A potato historian has passed. He died of a broken heart. Lincoln J. Trothwell. His wife had died a year before, Lucille. She was the founder of the Potato Historian Museum and Anthropology in eastern Germany. And that's where she had found the most fascinating, unearthed many, many things about how the potato has influenced our culture today. The problem was is I couldn't fly to uh, Lincoln because of the COVID. His wife died of the COVID a year ago. It's been a bad year. But so I did a Zoom meeting and after the Zoom meeting was over, I went to push the, the button to, to end the, the, the call. And, uh, and so what happened is I uh, went to check it a few hours later and I accidentally hit the delete button. And so when I phoned Lincoln home the next morning, I found out that he had uh, passed away in his sleep. And so, sad day. I have no evidence of the interview. It was so fascinating. So one thing that he talked about, which is their uh, most prevalent culture, uh, is the king. The king's death was intrinsically linked to the potato because you see potato it helps uh, gas it helps loosen the, the stool and so the king that I'm speaking of is none other than Elvis and he died of constipation very sad I guess I should say uh, what Lincoln was describing to me is it was a lack there of the potato that would have saved the king's life. If he would have had a more balanced diet and, and less pills, but more of a balanced diet, he would have, uh, his, uh, his in de- in, in ingestion would have uh, loosened the stool and he would have been able to go poo. And so we can move back further. With Lincoln, Jay um, Drawfway was really, really passionate about this, as his wife Lucille. Um, there was a, there was a, um, there's no proof because the proof in the court of law is like, a, you need the proof. And these people have been dead many years. So Jesus was betrayed by one of his disciples and the day of the before was the last supper this is all true everybody knows but the who it was not important in the potato historian world and so what we do know though is that jesus was was he gave a second helping to mary of madeline and one of his disciples did not get his short portion of potatoes. And the potato envy led to uh, immense wrath and betrayal, which ultimately caused Jesus' demise. And so, what they didn't know was that Mary Madeline was eating for two. And, but, water under the bridge, as they would say in the potato historian world, potato, potato. Um, so we move now to more in the art world, where it's, the stories are depicted. And uh, one of the fascinating stories was uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He, uh, if you play all of his symphonies, all at the same time, and you play them forward and you play them at the same time backwards 
in the middle, right in the middle of the both being played, all of the symphonies being played at the same time, and all of the symphonies being played at the same time backwards, in the middle is the greatest legacy of the ode to the giant potato in the sky, which I laughed a little because it was more proof of my friend who is doing the paper on the potato plant. So, but it is the most beautiful work of art that one is of Mozart's. And then we can move more into the painting culture where uh, Leonardo uh, da Vinci, he, he was more of an inventor. He invented machines. And although they were used for war, they were also uh, changed a little in combination to dig potatoes out of the crop in the field. So he invented many of the machines that we use today to cultivate potatoes from the farm. And so, which brings us to, um, this brings us to, um, we have over here, uh, art, uh, Vincent Van Gogh. This is modern art. And the thing was, is he was a very, he loved people, but he had a difficult time with people. He, he, he struggled with mental health. And so nothing really brought him peace except for when he was in France, he would stare out the window at the landscape of the fields that grew grapes and they grew flowers and they grew potatoes. And they, he loved the flowers. He loved potatoes. I'm not sure if he liked potato flowers. Anyway, um, I do know that his favorite food was of, um, in France, was of uh, a poutine. And so you have this painting here, very beautiful, very amazing. And so but the one thing you don't really know is about these two people sharing a very beautiful night is that they are sharing a plate of poutine. So you see, Vincent van Gogh used things like of beautiful nature and art and cultivate and people that uh, coffee shops and to incorporate into his art because he struggled with depression and his sadness and he knew what made him happy and so he incorporated in his art and so for modern art we have and now I'm going to talk about um, something a bit more fun a bit more light now that we're on the subject of food um, the first recipe is the potato croquette is very easy even though it's very difficult with many steps. Essentially, you make mashed potatoes. You peel the potato, you cut the potato into even sizes, pieces, you boil the potato, and then when it's boiled, you poke it with a fork. Be careful the water is hot. You poke it with a fork, and when you lift the potato up as it exits the water, it should fall back into the water but it should still be able to lift in the water and then fall as you release it. And so that's the perfect boiled mashed potato, or potato, it could be mashed. And so you strain the water and the potatoes, you strain it, and rinse it lightly. And then what you do is you add to your preference. If you're lactose intolerant, please do not add butter and milk. But you add a little bit of butter, a little bit of cream, and then you mash them. You add a little bit, um, cut up some uh, green onions, and you cut out, you put some salt, and you put some pepper. And if you want, you can fry some garlic and some onions on the side with some butter or oil. Olive oil would be the alternative to the butter. And then you add that to your mashed potatoes, and then you mash it all up into a nice. Now, 
trick is the, the potato croquette is you, is you use spoons. We don't want meatballs. We don't want meatball. We don't want ball meatball potatoes. That doesn't make much sense. But you know, like round potato balls. We want the opal, the oval shaped spoons. So you take two spoons, you play with them until they're an opal shape, and you make put them on parchment paper, and then you put them in the freezer. Um, actually, no, you put them in the fridge, and then when you're ready to cook the potatoes, we'll go into that, that step next. The next day, they're in the fridge, covered, so that the air doesn't escape them. And then you put them in the freezer for one hour. While you do that for one hour, you grind up some, um, what do you call, a bread, and you make uh, really fine, um, um, what do you call, breadcrumbs, yes. And then you put uh, two eggs and beat up with the breadcrumbs, and you make um, this type of batter with the breadcrumbs. And now you take your potatoes quickly out of that freezer so they don't stay any longer than an hour. They go from the fridge to the freezer for only one hour. Then, and that's so that they stay the opal shape. They stay that shape. And while you've done that, what you do is you roll your potatoes into your breadcrumbs with a little bit of the egg batter. And you have a frying pan going at the same time with the... Uh, potato, well, you could use uh, butter or you could use olive oil. Olive oil is the best for this. Uh, and then you basically almost just deep fry it, kind of. You can use deep fryer, but just you fry it. And while you're frying this potato rolled in breadcrumbs, you add, um, you get a sauce together. You get some white wine, you get some whipping cream, and you get some spices to your liking and you get a nice saucepan of this going and you put some a little bit parmesan cheese in it and you just let that sauce simmer as these potatoes start to brown and you roll them they're almost done so if you have these potatoes almost done essentially you're done, and you take them out, and you serve them with the sauce on top, and that's potato croquette. And if you like, you could make a hard-boiled egg and put it beside there, just for decoration. But uh, I hope you have enjoyed the history and the art and a little bit of the cooking.